Hi everyone, I am Lavinia Clark with your January 2015 monthly readings. However, I'd like to take the time to wish everyone a happy new year for a personal reading with me. Please visit my website, angelheartwisdom444.webly.com. Book and purchase your readings. Email your questions to angelheartwisdom444 at gmail.com. For um, the month of January, um, the first part of your reading will be a focus on love. So you're going to get your messages from the love oracle. And the second part of your reading is going to be on the direction of um, the angel's guides based on your sign. Okay, so hello Pisces, welcome to your January 2015 reading off um, to the Love Oracle for messages from the heart. I've already formed this connection with the spirit world, okay, and my guides are gonna connect with your guides, Pisces, to provide the most important messages on love and romance for the month, okay? Your first message is, the answer is no, Pisces. So now is not the right time to take any hasty actions, make hasty decisions with regards to love or relationships, okay? The answer is no. You don't need a loan. You don't need to break up. You don't need to move out or however this plays out for you for the month of January, okay? Your second message is You have to learn what is behind your feelings, Pisces. So this is saying to me that you are acting out in your relationship and nobody, you're not too sure what is behind those emotions. So. For the month of January, Spirit is asking you to take the time out to learn and really understand why you are acting in such a manner. Take the time. There is a message that is being... Spirit is trying to communicate with you. So either you're not paying attention because that is the reason why you're lashing out. So take the time resort to your center and try to communicate try to form that bond with um spirits so they could pass on messages to you with regards to the situation as to why you are acting out in this manner all right take the time out to center yourself okay the next message is concede some respite to you too. This is a situation that is asking for some space. So it's, it's between you and another individual. So perhaps you are lashing out at this individual. You have not taken the time to communicate, you know, what your emotions are trying to tell you. So it's either um, this situation is going to get out of control and it will call for some space between you and the other party involved. So give it time. All right, Pisces, give it time. So um, the angels want me to use the Crystal Wind Oracle for the next part of your messages. All right. And again, I've already connected with Source and to assist in providing the most important messages for you.
for the month of January. Alright, so I have Parvati and she's the goddess who rules over the laws of cause and effect. And we have the Bodhisattva, the goddess of mercy, prays for the happiness of all living beings. And at the end of it all, Pisces, we have Isis, who is in Egyptian mythology, the matrix of eternal life. So it's a, it, you're coming from a place where you had to um, you had to watch your emotional self, the way you react to situations. You had to really take into consideration your reaction to to the situations around you because knowing that everything is about cause and effect knowing that if you are not nice to others that is the same that is the same dish you are going to be delivered you know from the universe so you had to really watch your emotional self and actually get off the wheel of karma by ensuring that when you act you don't hurt others yeah you at a point in your life where you have to harvest what you have sown it would be best now to create a world for yourself that is benevolent to all around you it is time for you to get off the wheel of karma everything you do has an effect whether on yourself or others be careful and walk gently harm no one okay and this is what is it's, it's a sign of transformation within the self transformation within the self watching the reactive self and understanding trying to get a better understanding as to why you're angry and why you are behaving in the way that you you are behaving with regard to the situation yeah and the solution to do this is just having compassion for the mercy of compassion and mercy for all living beings yeah you just find that well of compassion within you um see with your your third eye your spiritual eyes your your third eye which is your sixth chakra located in the center of your forehead and you know it, it's a call to again resort to your center to resort to stillness and meditation so that the divine can channel the messages to you that will assist you with your evolutionary process you are on the way they're saying of becoming a bodhisattva you cherish the potential in others you have the courage um, to care and help others on their path to happiness and you're saying kudos to you great job because you're connecting with your angelic self yeah so what speaks to you through those images are messages that your team is trying to pass on to you i think there is a glare but i hope you could see um this beautiful image on the card would it set for okay and through finding your compassion and understanding that 
what you do do unto others as you would like others to do unto you then you what you do is you create something that is eternal that lasts you know that is there for a lifetime you create this you know you 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 create this epitome of um the goddess isis that the mother of creation that you know everyone wants to follow or be like okay based on your your attitude people will tend to want to be be like you and follow you and you lead by example okay you're gonna be the the mother the nurturer the bearer you know of that new state of being that new form of evolution mother wife and goddess you know so you you have those principles that people want to follow you you embrace you understand you know yourself fully and um you know that back in egyptian times you served as you know a goddess that person that mother that leader that her, her teachings her roles her methods needs to be followed and taken down to generations to come yeah you should reflect on the feminine aspects that influence your life this could mean you need to connect with your mother or someone that represents a mother figure you should connect with your sister mother or wife and spend some quality time with them and for a male listening to this reading we all have the masculine and feminine aspects of the self and what we could do is just call on those energies at any point in time that we need so if, again if you're a male listening to this reading it's a call to call on your softer side your feminine side you know and take into consideration all aspects of this situation so you know when to act and when not to act okay Pisces let me know how this reading resonated with you if you want to support me on patreon it's in the link below anything that I missed is in the description box below like our Facebook page I look forward to seeing you here with me soon namaste